Hey guys, and welcome to That Was History. I'm Cliff Langston, and today's topic's a bit on the chilly side. Right now, we are enjoying the cold month of February, and many of you in the northern states of America and countries far from the equator know that it means snow, and lots of it. Heck, even I have had some snow this year for several days, and I live in Georgia. But when snow hits the south, bad things happen. I'm sure some of you saw the headlines about Atlanta going into crisis mode with only a few inches around. Honestly, I think after four seasons of The Walking Dead, we're more prepared to fight off zombies than to deal with another round of snow. Like I said, when the South gets hit with snow, bad things happen, and I've got the perfect example from history to prove it. On February 11th of 1899, a severe cold wave hit every single part of the East Coast of North America from Florida all the way up to Maine. The sub-zero Fahrenheit temperatures were about to set up the United States for disaster. By February 12th of 1899, snow was falling across Florida and was heading west towards New Orleans. As the storm passed, Past the Florida Peninsula, it intensified and rapidly moved up the eastern United States. High Point, North Carolina would record 10 to 12 inches of snow with incredibly low temperatures for the area. As the storm continued to move, Washington, D.C. would record its all-time high single snowfall of 20.5 inches for the time period. Surprisingly, that record has been broken since. I can't even imagine, but we are still not done with this storm from 1899. Cape May, New Jersey recorded 34 inches of snow snowfall, which remains the standing record for the state of New Jersey. What's interesting about this one is the fact that Cape May is typically one of the least snow-covered areas of New Jersey. Just so you know, 34 inches is about 2.8 feet. That would come up to just a little shy of half of my body. We still aren't done though, because I promised you some southern examples. The day after all of this occurred, the port of New Orleans would be completely iced over with drift ice floating out of the Mississippi River into the Gulf of Mexico. When I hear drift ice, I think of Antarctica and that's a scary thought. I know the ice was nowhere close to Antarctica's size, but it's really strange to think about. Did you know that the country of Cuba was even hit by this disaster? The country experienced hard frost that ended up killing and damaging many of the country's crops. All of this action became known as the Blizzard of 1899, aka the Snow King. The only other cold wave with this much impact in the South was the 1985 Florida freeze that forced the citrus grove industry to move from Central Florida into the southern part of the state. This type of weather is very intimidating to me, but it doesn't even come close to the weather portrayed in movies like The Day After Tomorrow. Do you think we could ever see a weather system so bad that it replicates our worst fears portrayed in movies? I certainly hope not, but the weather can be quite mysterious at times. Leave us your thoughts in the comments section down below. But before you go, I want to thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and pass this episode along to someone else who might enjoy it. Alright guys, I'm out of here for now, but I'll see you next time.